So we talked about our automated follow-up process being a five-phase process uh, that we call the machine. And the first phase of this is our indoctrination phase. So what I want to do is take a little bit closer look at this phase, which is phase one, indoctrination. Now, the goal of, uh, of indoctrination um, really is to turn strangers into friends. And a typical indoctrination series is three emails. That's, that's usually what we're looking at in terms of, of an indoctrination series. It's a three part email thing where over the course of three days we're going to take somebody from you know hi nice to meet you my name is this what's your name to you know them thinking that you're kind of a big deal we're going to do things like ask them to whitelist your emails you know be proactive about whitelisting our emails so that you get better deliverability and engagement we're also going to show them some of our best stuff so just like think about the indoctrination series as a first date Right? If you're going on a first date with someone, you'd wear your best outfit. You know, you'd, you'd do everything that you could do to, to, to look your best. I know Chris Rock, you know, the comedian, he, he always has a little bit where he says, when you go on a date with somebody, you're not going out with them. You're going out with their representative. You know, in this case, this is kind of your representative, the indoctrination series. So when they come in, they're seeing the best that you have to offer. So after you send an email to him saying, Hi, nice to meet you. Here's what you can expect. You know, whitelist us, all these other things that we'll talk about in a later video. You're also going to show them some of your best stuff. You're going to, you're going to say, hey, check out this blog post that we wrote. Check out this video. Check out we were featured here. And you're going to do a little bit of, of bouncing. Um, you're going to bounce them around and say, go look over here. Go look over there. Um, go read this over here. Go follow us on Twitter. Go follow us on, go, go like us on Facebook. You're going to want them to move around because if you can get a brand new subscriber to move, that actually increases intimacy. And, and they know this. They've done studies about this. It's the reason that you'll see a lot of times in different marketing videos and things like that. People will be driving in a car while they're talking to you, right? Because that builds trust. It's, it's, it's as if you're sitting right there in the car with them. It, it, it kind of builds this sort of faux trust. Now, I'm not suggesting that, that you do this just for the sake of building false intimacy. It happens to be a byproduct of getting them to do things that you really want them to do anyway, right? If they're on your list, you want them to follow you on and, and like you on Facebook and Twitter. You want them to go read your blog. You want them to go check out a YouTube video. But you also want to do a, a little bonding. You want to get a little personal. You want them to, to get to know you, know you or your brand, right? So it's very appropriate in these types of emails to include photos, to say, hey, here's a picture of, of me and the team, right? And to be more than just a nameless faceless corporation. That's what everyone else is doing. They're sending emails from the company. They're signing emails, management, customer support, crap like that. These are people. You should be a person too. And we'll talk more about this when we get into to the examples, but this really is about humanizing your company, humanizing your brand, and letting the people that you're doing business with know that you're a person too, and that you do genuinely care about them. So that's what indoctrination is all about. It really is about that first date. It's about getting things started on the right foot and done properly. Not only will this indoctrination series improve your email deliverability, it'll improve your open rate, your click-through rates, and your overall engagement, which means to greater conversions and sales down the road. So with that overview of indoctrination, let's look at some examples and show you how you can build and craft your own indoctrination series.